Drum roll. And the winner of the Garmin 245 is... Good morning everybody, it's Christmas time, although it's so early in the morning. Well it's not, but we got up very early to drive here because we've just come over to a place called Bedford. Uh, I guess that's in Bedfordshire, I should really know where all these places are. For Park Run, because it's Christmas Day, it's a tradition. <laughs> Me and Sarah have just been laughing at everybody saying this time of year. Oh, it's tradition, we've got to do all this stuff. But for us, I don't really have many traditions at Christmas, but Park Run has got to be one of them. So yeah, we've got a little 5K run to do. And then yeah, I'll be traveling all around the country, visiting family and distributing gifts. And yeah, just having a lot of fun and taking the day that we've got in store here. So the first things first, we're gonna get shoes on and then yeah, get into the park behind me. It's a, looking like it's been a glorious day. The sun is coming up here behind me. So yeah, action packed video coming up. So we'll see you on the start line for park run in a bit. Oh, and happy Christmas or whatever you're celebrating at this lovely time of year. It's amazing. Of London now it is so cold we kind of we're so pathetic London it's all quite warm ish normally but yeah very very cold probably about four or five degrees so yeah gonna get warmed up because I'm kind of recovering for a bit of a niggly injury that I had the other day uh, so yeah just kind of gonna get this knee nicely warmed up and get going but everyone's gathering behind us here and yeah it That's is warming up so loads of sand hats Maybe we should do that for next year, some Ben Park Santa hat, because I've been boring and just got my normal hat on. But it is red, I think. No, I've got a red. blue one. Oh, I've got a blue one. Nope, I don't even know what I'm putting on. Got dressed in the dark this morning. Right, we'll see you on the start. Line. Sarah's filming after 5k all around Bedford Park Park Run. And it's obviously a, a slowish start. It's always a bit different when we come out of London because you get all the dogs here as well, which is really nice to see people bringing their dogs along um, on their leads. But yeah, I don't know how many people we've got here. I have to look it up, but it seems about three or four hundred because yeah, the weather's been so bad recently. And lots of the park runs are closed. Everyone's come down to Bedford to have fun and get their 5k done before their Christmas lunch. Right, we'll see you in a bit. Right guys, just through the first k, 520 pace. Nice going along at Sarah's easy pace today. And yeah, I had a bad, accident the other day uh, fell over on Sunday on my training run on the trails and bust my knee uh, yes yeah, so I haven't had a, had to have a couple of enforced days off but physio says I can run again so I caught it really badly I fell over being chased by a dog at the time and I was trying to get away and then slipped came crashing down on my knee and had to walk in couldn't, couldn't carry on it was so bad I could hardly walk but it seems to have recovered quite quickly. Anyway, enough about that. Do a little life update there. We'll see you at KT. Right guys, coming up to K2. 4.35. Sarah, we're not going Sarah's easy pace anymore. Right. She's speeding up down the hill. Are you gonna blow up, Sarah? No. No. Feeling, feeling good today. Yeah, you all about Christmas traditions? Do you have your Christmas traditions? You always, do you like to go for a run on Christmas Day? Boxing Day, Christmas Eve, what do you like to do? <laughs> Let me know down in the comments. Right. Sounds like we're all going your easy place either. No, oh, I'm losing fitness. <sighs> Right guys, 
Which is measuring K3443. I haven't really got much to say in this corridor. Should have been. People that think our videos are all scripted. Not at all. Complete. Oh, yeah. Yay! Yeah. There you go. Just as you look at something, go on to the video. Good stuff. Alright, guys, 4K. I missed that one because I was chatting. So I don't really know what that is, probably about 4.30 pace. And yeah, just a quick thank you to all the volunteers out there today making events like this happen on Christmas Day. You are all, what, what, what are volunteers, Sarah? Sorry? What are volunteers? Amazing. Amazing superstars for creating <laughs> and making events like this happen. We need to do it more. But yeah, we need to do some more volunteering. We'll put that on the... <laughs> We'll put that on the uh, goals for next year. Right guys, just coming into the finish. Been reliably informed this course is a bit long. So 5.1k it's going to be, but what a lovely, lovely day. Let's see what the time is. Pause. What do we got? 24 minutes 11. Sarah's jogging pace. This wasn't a jog. It wasn't a jog, but nice and easy and relaxed. What was your first ever park run time, Sarah? Oh, like 30 something. 30, and now jogging around in 24. Let's go and stay in mingle the, with stay everybody. In the, stay in the funnel. I was ahead of you. I was, no, no overtaking the tunnel. Park run rules. Another one of our traditions is we always, Sarah changes her phone wallpaper once a year, and it's always with a photo which we take at our Christmas Day park run. So that's what we've just been doing. Oh, so many of these weird little things we do every year for Christmas. Oh. Right guys, that's park run done. Oh, there's mud everywhere. And yeah, back in the car, but well done. If you've done park run day, well done, especially to all the Bedford park runners as well. That was really good fun. What a great episode and really nice course as well. Um, yeah, you, if you're looking for a fast time, well, it is 5.1K. Uh, but yeah, all park runs are a little bit odd with their distances. But if you want a quick time, you want to stretch your legs, get down to Bedford. Right guys, just out along the river for a little 10K. We're, there are two days after Christmas. I can't remember what day it is. You do, don't half lose track of uh, where we are in the world in these days after Christmas. Oh, the Thames is overflowing a bit and getting some wet feet. It's taken me a couple of days just to get through all of the entries into the competition uh, to win a watch. We are completely blown away by the amount of people that responded down in the comments. Over, what, over a thousand people put their name in the hat and I wanted to read everyone because the whole point of this was just to get the watch out to someone that like kind of needs it a little bit. I just wanted to get it into some good hands. So I just wanted to say a massive thank you to everyone that wanted to win the watch and put their name into the hat of the competition and been completely blown away by the amount of comments that there have been. You know, I do sometimes forget this channel has grown quite a lot recently, so thank you so much to all the new subscribers, everyone out there watching the videos. Been completely blown away by the amount of response to everything. So yeah, can you just guys say thank you so much for all the support you guys give me and yeah, it's gonna be very hard just to choose one. So we'll do that back at the house in a minute. But yeah, lots of prizes we'll give out to everybody and yeah, it's been has been tough reading some of the comments and just wanted to say quickly that any uh ad revenue and everything we make out of this video will be donated to two charities, the Samaritans and uh, Shelter, which uh, help with yeah, some very, very difficult things. And there's been some talk of that down in the comments as well. So yeah, anything we make out of this video, we'll put a donation in there in about a month's time, once all the analytics have had their chance to run. Right, let's get back to the house and pick some winners, which is gonna be difficult because uh, just the way it is. But there'll be loads more uh, opportunities to win things and prizes and stuff next year as well. So yeah, don't be discouraged if you didn't win. If your it uh, doesn't mean your comment wasn't worthy or anything like that. Not at all. Just been completely, just been crazy over the last few days. So yeah, right. Let's get back to the house 
and choose a whip. Right guys, I just got in from the run and made myself a quick shake in the blender. Just some uh, sort of blueberry, what have we got in there? Blueberries, pineapple, chia seeds, uh, just water and some protein powder stuff as well. So anyway, that's enough about my running. I know what all of you guys want to know, like how people have done in the competition. So yeah, let's fire up the laptop and yeah, so we're gonna give away a few um, cool prizes. So we've got five of the uh, brand new Getting It Done uh, sort of trail wraps, um, a sort of the purple trap wraps. You can choose whichever one you want. And then five people to win uh, one of the hats. So, uh, still got the packaging on. So yeah, one of the hats, blue, green or red, just let me know what you want. And then obviously behind me somewhere, the star prize of the guy, we're gonna get that out to someone. So yeah, let's um, have a quick look. So yeah, winning a rap is, uh, <laughs> some of these names are a bit odd because they're just usernames really. So Goonage, Melissa Price, Daedus, De I'll put everyone's names up on the screen anyway. Uh, Chris Newton and Jasper Devine. Uh, so yeah, well done. Um, I'll get back in touch with you on the comments of the last video and ask for your email address so I can get in touch with you that way. And then winning a hat, we've got uh, Nicholas Goes to New Zealand, Saya Might, uh, Mark Ruby, Alex Franklin, and Artie Rose. So yeah, congratulations to all of you guys as well. Uh, yeah, I'll get in back in touch with you guys on the comments of the previous video. And yeah, you'll win one of the one of the hats, whichever one you want. And then for the star prize of the Garmin 245, congratulations to Ronald Indrex. Uh, yeah, you have won the Garmin, so congratulations. Um, I will also need your parents' details as well because you're under 18. So uh, yeah, if you can drop me your parents' email address and we'll get in touch and we'll get this shipped out to you. So yeah, some hats and bits and pieces going all off around the world. But yeah, as I said in the previous thing, don't worry, like I feel really bad because there's so many people that could win. There's some amazing stories out there as well. Right guys, we're gonna wrap up the video. It's only me and Kiki here today. Sarah's up at her uh, sister's house up in Cambridge where we're heading up to shortly. So Sarah, I'll see you soon. But yeah, we're gonna, I've got loads of, people have been ordering so many bits and pieces, all these orders to get through. Um, yeah, over the and then I'm gonna get them down to the post office as well. So thank you guys for all the support and still buying stuff. I think we sold five hats on Christmas day. What are you guys doing? <laughs> yeah, thank you for the support. I'm not complaining. So yeah, that's it guys thank you so much yeah we're, we're next time you see us i think we'll be on new year's eve because we're going to be heading abroad um to get some hot weather training in um in the mountains and stuff so yeah i've got loads of cool stuff coming up from the channel and 2020 is going to be really exciting so we've got a little summary video coming up in a few days of everything you can expect to see on the channel next year and that's it thank you to the patrons please like share subscribe you guys mean the world to me. So that's it. You're going to say bye, Kiki? A little meow or something? Not interested. <laughs> right, guys. We'll see you in the next one.